Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am working on some handmade ephemera today. Um, so this is um, for part of my newbie swap. So I've been paired with Susan Allhouse. So Susan, you might not want to watch this bit um, um, or this video um, because I'm going to um, work on some of the ephemera pieces that I'm going to use to make part of our um, swap. So, um, as I say, I've been paired with Susan and I'm really excited um, to, to have been paired with Susan because I think um, whilst it's sort of the newbie swap um, and I volunteered to sort of help out um, and Susan sort of put herself in as a newbie, I'd actually say that both of us are more sort of at an intermediate level in terms of I've only been crafting for about three years. Um, I've only been on YouTube since um, November um so i've still got lots to learn um but i know that susan's work is absolutely um stunning so um i know that obviously she's um at more at that sort of intermediate level so for uh, for both of us i think it's a really nice pairing because i think we've got an awful lot that we can um we can help each other with so we decided to do a pocket letter swap and memory decks card both in a summer theme um, to sort of get started with so um, the pocket letter I've done I, I actually had already got um, one that I'd sort of I'd done the front of um, in an earlier um, sticky side of crafting I think it was collab and it was in a lovely summer theme um, so I have finished that one off and done some really lovely um, pockets for the back so I've created all these um, pockets on the on the background um, which I filled with all sorts of little treats and I won't show too much um, but I filled it with little um, summer themed treats and things um, and then oops if I can get it back in I'll have to put that back in in a sec because it's a bulky one um, and then I'm now working on the memory decks card so um, I I have got lots of stickers and um, chipboards and ephemeras and things in my stash. So I've got a folder which I've sort of collated a lot of summery themed things into. Um, so I do have quite a bit that I could. Um, I've even got this one, which I, is it the Maggie Holmes one? I'm not really sure, to be honest. It looks quite Maggie Holmes. I don't know. I got it cheap in hobby craft when they were selling them off um, I just liked it um, so yeah pick that one up um, so I have got quite a lot so I could use my stickers but because I'd used stickers and um, sort of you know made some of it up into ephemera and stuff the stickers for my pocket letter um, I didn't want to, to do that again for my memory decks card. So I'll quickly show you now that Susan should have switched off. She doesn't want to see. Um, so this is the pocket letter. So you can see I've gone with um, cactuses and, and the llamas. Um, um, and this was um, a sticker set that I'd got. Um, and I've turned lots of it into ephemera by putting it onto cardboard and then recutting it out and, and sort of making the white line a little bit smaller. Um, because that allows you to pop it up and stuff, which obviously that's harder to do with stickers. Um, so I'd made that one. And like I say, I, I'd actually made the cards part of the pocket letter on a um, sticky side of crafting video a little while ago. Um, and I'd made this lovely um, tassel. So I made all the pockets for the back of this. Um, and like I say, I filled them with, with little treats. Um, and I've got a couple of little things to add onto the charm. But then I've got the memory decks card to do. So... Um, I just started it and I thought, well, I'll just come on and show that you don't have to always have um, ephemera packs if you've got stamps in your stash. So this was a stamp set that came with um, a magazine that I used to subscribe to, um, Creative Stamping. In fact, I've just sub subscribed to it again because they'd got a deal on which was, um, I think it's three months for £9. So I get a magazine every month for £3 for three months and I'll get one of these A4 sticker seat sheet, um, set stickers, stamp sets with it. Um, so I thought, well, for £3 a month, because it's normally £10 a magazine, this, um, I thought I would subscribe for a few months again. Um, 
and get some more um, stamp sets because they are really useful and I do use these ones quite a lot. Now I know that a lot of people say oh they're rubbish quality they don't stamp very well and um, but I think as long as you've got some sort of stamp platform so this is the one that I've got I've got no idea what brand it is I just bought it um, for a few pounds I think it was about 12 pounds off of eBay um, I don't know um, but it works perfectly well um, it's exactly what I need it's got the little rubber mat so I can use the thicker stamps and the thinner acrylic or um, polymer stamps um, these are acrylic but like I say you know if you've got a stamp platform I don't find I have any issues so as you can see they've stamped that perfectly well um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, colour them now obviously you can do that in lots of different ways you can do it with pens pencils um, i'm really loving painting with my distress inks at the moment so i've got lots of the um mini cubes for the distress inks um that i just keep in these little baskets um and they're absolutely fine you don't need anything more than the mini cubes for um painting when you're using it as watercolor because obviously you don't use a great deal um when you're watercolouring, it's only only a very small amount. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, um, I won't um, bore you by making you sit through the whole thing while I talk, because obviously it's going to take me quite a while to paint all of these up. Um, but what I will do is I will show you part of the process. Um, I'll, I'll sort of put it on speed up with a bit of music um, and then I'll come back and show you it all when I have finished it and cut it all out.
memory decks pocket now using um, all of the summer vibe themed um, ephemera that I have um, painted and created. Um, to make the pocket I am using this die set so it's a memory decks pocket die set that I got from I think it was KS Crafts on um, AliExpress. Um, so I have cut first of all I have cut the whole 
base layer, the big one, out of this um, patterned paper, which has got like a, a subtle wave effect to it. I've then cut just the top half from the same die in the same paper, but this time it's foiled. And I have cut the layering piece in that foiled cardstock. So I've got, um, this is the main pocket and I've cut it and as you can see I've, I've scored the score lines. I have gone over the score lines using my little um, score buddy um, just to make it easier to fold them. And I have inked all around the edges of that piece. So this is the other piece which is done in the metallic and what I've done is I've cut off the flap bits and um, the bottom bit there so I'm just left with that piece and the reason I've done that is because my paper is single sided um, and obviously I don't want it to be um, just plain on the back there so I have just um, yeah just done that um, and I think what I'm going to do just to help make it fit a little bit easier um, because you won't see the bottom anyway because it'll be hidden in the pocket I'm just going to take my scissors and along the stitch marking along the bottom of this bit. I'm just gonna trim a bit more of that cardstock off. It'll just mean that when I come to fold my pocket, it'll just fold a little bit easier and it's not gonna be sort of pushing up against that edge. So I am going to put just a bit of tape on and some wet glue if I can find it just a bit of um, and this is just the tacky glue that I always use I'm just like that and then I'm going to layer that in there so I'm just lining that up making sure that the holes on the bottom are right and that the top bits match up so that obviously we haven't got any white peeking over on the other side and then I'm just going to give that a really good press down and obviously because I put the tape on it will grab straight away um, but then the glue the wet glue will help it to sort of stay um, in place long term um, and now I can just fold those bits over again and that is what I'm going to use to glue my little pocket shut so just give them a good fold. Um, now then, to make that stay shut, I'm going to need to clamp it. So I'm just going to grab a couple of little clips, a little pot that's got various clips and pegs and things. Um, and all I'm going to do is with the tacky glue, I'm just going to put a line of it down that side and a line down the other, like so. And I'm just gonna line it up. So I'm gonna get that where I want it and give it a bit of a press. And then I'm gonna take just a couple of these little mini pegs. And I'm just gonna pop those on just to help it stay shut just for a couple of minutes while the um, the tacky glue goes off the same on this side give it a good press and make sure that it's grabbing and then just a few clips so I will leave that for a couple of minutes to just um, let the glue take and let that set um, and in the meantime I'm going to ink up this piece so this is the other piece so I've gone for quite a subtle sort of tone on tone so it's exactly the same pattern um, it's just that this one has got the uh, foiling around the edge well all over the all over the piece um, so it will stand out but it's not going to be really really um, vibrant which is what I want because obviously this is the the backing piece so I don't want it to be too vibrant. I am just going to run around the edge with a um, towel, a paper towel. Because it is foiling, anywhere where there is foil, the um, distress ink won't sit, it won't soak in. So um, I've just gone around the edge uh, with the distress ink and then just taken off anything off the foiling 
um, on there. So I think what I will do is I'm going to put a little bit of thin card um, on the back of this one to lift it up off the pocket. Um, but I don't want it to be... So I've got some of my cat card that I have run through the die cutting machine, which is thin, um, but it's it's still got some thickness to it. So um, I'll probably avoid that one just for this piece. Uh, 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 uh. So if I just take a pencil. There we go. Just like that. And I can just pop a bit of glue on the back of there. And it's not much, but it'll just um, just give it a tiny, tiny little bit of lift. Um, I don't want it to be overly bulky because obviously it's a memory decks card um, and you don't want it to take up the whole of the memory decks. But that just gives it enough just to again lift it up off that paper. So once that has settled and that glue is taken, we'll come back and we will decorate it. Okay, unfortunately um, my camera cut off and I didn't realise um, it had run out of charge. So... Um, uh, I just carried on um, and I have finished the um, pocket. So as you can see, I took a bit of um, cardstock that had got a sort of a sandy texture um, and I cut a sort of border just with a pair of scissors to make it look like a, a sandy edge. And then I just cut over the whole thing with um, this die so that I got the um, stitching and the little notches on the bottom there. Um, and I layered that on top of the um, metallic layer that I had put down. I tucked the umbrella piece underneath and the um, beach hut underneath the, the sand mound and the little bucket there and over the top of that I've layered the deck chair and the little spade which are both popped up slightly and the sun which is up there popped up. I've popped on this lovely little um, gold sticker that I got in Happy Mail that says best day ever so I thought it was quite appropriate for a nice sunny day on the beach and then on the back I have put some of the um, ice creams um, just on the back there and a little pair of sunglasses. Sorry if you can hear the rain, um, I'm just going to have to carry on because it just never stops raining here at the moment. Um, this has got a little pocket so what I will do is print a little label with my name and address to pop on the back there and then I'm going to use the pocket to send the rest of the handmade ephemera um, that I created um, in this lovely vibrant summer theme. And it will all just fit in the back there. And then when she takes all of the um, ephemera out, my address, my name and address will be on the back there um, to go on in her memory decks. So that is my um, memory decks to go out as part of my um, newbie swap. And that will be going out with a pocket letter because that's what we decided we were going to swap pocket letters and memory dex cards. Um, and I've got a few little um, bits and pieces that I'm going to pop in with it. But I'm really pleased with that. Um, I, I've only made one other memory dex card. So this is the second one that I've made. Um, but I quite enjoy it because it's that working in sort of smaller scale and I quite enjoy that. Um, and I really enjoyed making all of the, the ephemera for this set as well. So I hope that Susan likes it. Um, and... Yeah, I will get that all um, packaged up and off in the post tomorrow. So that's it for this video. I have got another memory decks card that I am um, going to go off and prep. I'm going to go and um, tidy up a little bit first. And then I will start with that one. So um, I will be back very soon with another crafty video. Bye for now.